Hey guys, this is Pram bringing you the top eight of Virginia Regionals. On our left, we have Ray Cipolletti, uh, and on our right, we have Henry Pryor. Now, both these players have made the top eight, and, you know, this is a, actually a really cool match. Um, these players are both world competitors. Um, Ray, uh, he made the top 32 last year at Worlds, and Henry was in the senior division, but has been rocking out, you know, uh, in this year, like... Um, he was in Worlds last year, and he got second at uh, Regionals in the fall. So, Ray here, he's playing Dark Rye, and Henry's using Blastoise. Um, we see a pretty uneventful turn one from Ray, and uh, yeah, that can't be that good. Uh, he just kind of energy passes, but Henry here has the Squirtle. On his bench, uh, he has a Caldeo Energy. He Skyless for Rare Candy. So we may be seeing a turn two Secret Sword, which is like, ooh, this is a terrible situa uh, situation for Ray. He's staring down turn two uh, Secret Sword with no supporters and a turn three Night Spear. And his opponent is setting up pretty nicely. So. Uh, yeah, this game could be over really, really quickly if things don't turn out for the better for uh, Ray here. Uh, he's going to be taking 90. And does Ray have a supporter or anything he can do? Nope. The answer is no. And Ray loses game one with Henry going up one game. So uh, a pretty fast and uneventful uh, <laughs> uh, start to this series. You know, um... Generally, this matchup is actually really cool. Uh, I always like watching Dark Rye versus Blastoise. It's it's one of those matchups where you can just do a lot of cool things with it. Uh, like Dark Rye will always be trying to do perfect knockouts. Blastoise will be poking in for ninety every so often, but all of a sudden they'll they'll get in a like a giant Caldeo. So it's very interesting on how these ma this match particular matchup plays out. I'm always a fan of watching it, but it usually plays out in two two scenarios really. Uh, I guess a couple. Oh, there's a few, but the two main scenarios is uh, Dark Rise sets up around turn two, and Blastoise does not, and then eventually Dark Rise goes up with too many prizes and uh, kind of squeaks out a win. But the other scenario is where Blastoise goes like turn two Secret Sword, and then he kind of then it's the opposite where it's like okay now Blastoise is the one putting on pressure and you're gonna have to see like the only way Darkrai would win at that point is like some kind of Mewtwo exchange so it's a pretty uh, interesting matchup there's a few other scenarios um you know uh like Darkrai uh like if both players draw dead then you know, I, I think Darkrai has the advantage just because it's more consistent. But if uh, if Blastoise, if if they both have the same like optimal start, I believe it's Blastoise who has the advantage. But the optimal starts happen more often for Darkrai than it does for Blastoise. So we'll see what happens going into game two. Um, so yeah, you know, this is let's just kind of sit back, relax, and kind of enjoy the ride of Blastoise. You know, interesting is we've had Blastoise on the past th top 32, top 16, and now the top 8. So, it's been here for a while and we had Dark... Uh, so, Blastoise has really been represented well in this tournament. Uh, there's been a lot of people playing it and now we're down to the final few. Uh, we do see a Mewtwo start from both players. But uh, Henry does have a Squirtle on the on the bench, which is fine. Um, so Ray is Ray is using Sableye. Uh, he's gonna he has a computer search in his hand. He's kind of debating what to go for. You know, does he get the Dark Rye and then just go for a big Juniper? Does he uh, maybe do something else? Um, he does have an Eviolite, so I, I expect maybe just uh, a Dark Rye. And then go for a big Juniper. He already has one Dark in the discard. So it's not like he needs to assemble too many Darks. Um, another interesting thing he could do is actually get a Dark Patch with this. 
uh, go energy to the Mewtwo Dark Patch, and then um, and then at that point he can Juniper, and he has a better chance of drawing a Dark Cry than he would say a Dark Patch or, but uh, he could also it also opens the doors for Energy Switch for Mewtwo. So this is a pretty cool turn. He's just going to put the Eviolite down on the Mewtwo. And then we're just going to see a Juniper here. So let's see how this Juniper turns out for him. Uh, we do see the Energy Switch, a plus power. Ooh, very dangerous. This is a really dangerous combination. No Dark Ride, but that's okay. Uh, he's just actually just going to Energy Switch here and attack. Kind of get in the early pressure with this Mewtwo. Now, the uh, Henry is going to be on the uh, defensive so fast, like... With that, what that plus power does in Ray's hand, it basically guarantees Mewtwo being knocked out next turn for no real additional commitment. Uh, so Henry's going to have to find a way to deal with this. Now we do see a defensive catcher coming in for Henry. And defensive catchers are very costly nowadays. Um, it costs, uh, you know, you can only play four of them. Uh, Four ca maximum four catchers. You don't have junk arms like you did last format. So, defensive catchers are you. They're really like, oh wow, I have to use this catcher now, or I'm gonna, I'm either gonna discard it with a juniper, or I'm just never. It's just so not optimal, but sometimes you have to do it. So we do see an ultra ball for a Squirtle here, and I think we're gonna see a juniper. He attaches an energy to Mewtwo. Interesting. Um, I maybe, maybe would have liked this. I guess it's okay. Uh, maybe I would have just discarded it. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. Because, like, now that Mewtwo is guaranteed to be knocked out, he doesn't, uh, Ray doesn't need to, uh, commit the plus power. And it makes his retrieval slightly worse. Uh, Henry's retrieval slightly worse, like, he could have had one energy in the discard and then, you know, say that Ultra Bowl he's considering uh, on the discards for right now. You know, he could discard one energy and then, you know, he'd have two energy in the discard for retrievals and that's okay. But we do know Ray has the retreat cost for uh, Sableye here, so he's going to be able to just knock out this Mewtwo. Oh, uh, we do see a Keldeo, which is a nice play. He's going to rush in to save the Mewtwo here. And that energy attachment ends up being pretty nice on the Mewtwo. He just kind of just lets it uh, sit there. Because now what ha can happen is, well, say he gets like three energy on that Mewtwo. He can just retreat Keldeo, catch her up the Mewtwo, one-shot the uh, Ray's Mewtwo. So a pretty cool interaction there. Uh, we do see uh, Ray's hand is kind of kind of shaky. He's going to have to Juniper here. He has an energy search. He might want to just energy search and fail the search. Oh, no, my mistake. He has a Juniper too. So this is a this is a fine play. Ray's just looking for the Dark Rye here. Does he get it? Yes, he does. So he's going to be able to retreat if he can get a catcher to round out this turn, but it looks like he does not. Uh, so either way, Ray's hand is actually really good. Uh, well, what do you do if you're right? You know your opponent is down one to two catchers. I, th I think it's two. Do you just junk hunt here? Do you junk hunt and just kind of make your setup even better? You can even get the plus power back if you so desired uh, with Sableye. So that plus power loss isn't a big deal. Uh, he can he has a Skyla in his hand, so maybe next turn he can... Uh, and he also has DCE, so he can like... Um, Junk Hunt for the plus power and maybe a Dark Patch wouldn't be bad. Or a plus power and a uh, Computer Search, that'd be solid too. You know, there's a ton of options he can do here. So, let's see what he goes for the Junk Hunt. That's one of the issues with putting the plus power there. Yeah, there we go, he remembers. <laughs> so, yeah, he opts for the Computer Search and the Dark Patch. Uh, that's fine too. Uh, there's so many different options you, he could have taken for this play. But plus power is a really nice card. Um, it it kind of makes his math de pretty decent. Um, 
you know, it's not like Dark Claw good math, but uh, it's not bad either. Uh, I expect he's going to go more for the Mewtwo War route rather than trying to fight with Darkrai in this matchup. He's just going to go, hey, I'm going to have a bunch of Mewtwo's. Uh, I have a, I expect maybe, I think Ray runs Buffalant, so we might see one of those come in and just kind of go from there. But we do see a... Ooh, does Henry have two energy in this discard? I know he has the one, and yeah, this is where his energy retrieval was... Oh, he had two. Uh, that's cool. So, or I guess he had... Either way, he has three uh, energy on Keldeo. So, so, he comes in with the Secret Sword, and now we see Mewtwo battles. Uh, you know, Ray does have a catcher in his hand. He has DCE... He has a bunch of options. He has Dark Rye. So he can just keep powering up Dark Rye if he wanted to. And then knock out the Mewtwo with the energy on it. And then maybe catch next turn, catch her up another Mewtwo. DC knockout with an energy switch or something like that. There, there's a lot of cool options uh, Ray can do with this deck. And I'm really a fan of the Dark Rye Mewtwo variant. Um, it, it can just pop out so much damage out of nowhere like you just kind of do the math and you go okay well the maximum he can do is actually kind of ridiculous let's just hope he doesn't get there uh but we'll see what happens uh he's gonna he has a skyline in his hand he's checking out how much energy henry has on the board and what will ray do uh he has he's already he hasn't attached his energy yet he still has a dce skyla he, he's he may be thinking he's maybe thinking about Night Spear here. Uh, he has Eviolite, and Eviolite's a really nice card in this matchup. Uh, it doesn't really do anything versus the Keldeo for two shots, but it prevents it, it makes the one shot on the EX much much harder. Uh, you know, at that point you need uh, eight energies to knock out Darkrai, seven energies to dark, knock out Mewtwo with a Keldeo. It can, it can get messy very, very quickly. But we do see uh, Ray getting the catcher, and he looks like he's, ooh, he's going in for the Night Spear. And this is cool. So he's going to be able to put 30 on the Keldeo. Or he's kind of debating on who to put the 30 on. He's going between the Keldeo or the Mewtwo. Uh, he goes for the Keldeo. And let's see, let's count the math for this. So his Mewtwo, Gray's Mewtwo has two in on it. Uh, Ray uh, Henry has three damage or three uh, energy on the Keldeo. That's a hundred uh, plus the thirty. That's one thirty. With the DCE, the Mewtwo will knock out this Keldeo very quickly, and he has another Mewtwo to counter his opponent's Mewtwo when that comes into play. So uh, Ray kind of baller status at this point in this game. Uh, he, I don't really see him losing. Uh, he has so many ways to just win the game. He just attacks with Mewtwo. If nothing ha if Henry cannot muster up the two energy required to knock out, uh, Ray's four energy Mewtwo, then Ray actually just wins. Does what happens here? We have an energy retrieval. So yes, uh, Henry does draw the card he needs for the counter knockout, and now, but. Henry is only at three prizes, whereas Ray is at two. And Ray has energy switch. Does he have an energy? He does not. He drops some more EXs, plays a plus power, plays the energy switch, and now all he needs is any energy card. If he gets one energy card, there it is. And Ray takes game two in a pretty convincing fashion. Now it's... um, This matchup is really interesting with the extra Mewtwo's added into this dynamic. Now you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mewtwo Wars, you can put pressure with Caldeo, uh, the Mewtwo math is really cool with Darkrai. Uh, it only takes four energy to knock out a uh, Caldeo with a Mewtwo when it has 30 on it, and you know when you run four DCE, that's really not that difficult. So. Yeah, I, I re I'm really digging Ray's build for this matchup. He's he's clearly play played this matchup a lot. He knows what he's doing. So we'll see how this works out. Um, so let's see. Okay, so Henry, he had an easy game one. 
and he lost a pretty uh, landslide game too. But it wasn't landslide in the fact that you know Henry pulled out all he could pull out, and then Ray actually just won. Those are always the scariest losses. Um, it was actually like you know game one, Ray didn't really draw anything. Game two. Henry got out a little bit, but then kind of petered out at the end, or in the middle and the end. So, you know, hopefully game three we'll see a fully developed board from both players and just kind of see how this matchup plays out when both players draw well. Um, yeah, so, you know, there's uh, a lot. It's good that Henry hasn't lost a game that has been like. Or both players, really. It's good that both players haven't lost a game where both players set up and then, like, you pulled out all your stops, you did everything you needed to do, but then it just wasn't enough. Uh, those games are absolutely the worst. Uh, you know, if you pull out all your stops and then you still lose, uh, you, you are not looking forward to the next game. Uh, so, but here we are in the final game. Of the top eight, Ray Cipolletti versus Henry Pryor. Who's going to come out on top? And yeah, so we see Henry getting to go first. He starts with two Mewtwo's and a Caldeo. Does he? Can he muster out a Squirtle? Uh, we do see Tropical Beach, and no, he does not. Uh, this is very important uh, to notice. Uh, you know, that basically just says, "Hey, Hen Henry," just basically went like, "Okay." I'm actually not really going first. Uh, you can take the initiative. Everything that's good about going first, uh, I'm not actually going to do any of that except for attaching energy. So, Ray here, he has the opportunity to capitalize on this uh, at, by so much. He can, if he can pull off a turn two Night Spear, I am convinced he is. By far a huge favorite for this match. So here we here we go. It looks like Ray's even gonna have a turn one junk hunt for a cool amount of cards. Uh, does he have a supporter? Yeah, he even has an N in his hand to back up this hand. So he's definitely gonna have two energies on board. He's gonna have uh, everything ready for the turn two night spear. All he needs to do is. Just draw an energy card at this point. Uh, and he can, you know, that's not that difficult. So I think Ray is coming out gun blazing with uh, turn two Night Spear. And Henry, his start is very, very sluggish. He doesn't have the Ultra Ball for, or he has a Skyla. He's going to have the Skyla for Ultra Ball. He does have the Rare Candy at that point. But then Ray will have a catcher ready to go. Uh, it. This is going to be so tough for Henry to really pull out if he can, uh, if he does not end here. Uh, now, draws that Henry that could make Henry's uh, draw much better. You can draw Squirtle is the big one, and no hesitation in putting on the Evie Light. I don't believe Ray runs Dark Patch, so uh, it looks like he's getting. Oh, yeah, yeah, he almost forgot about that catcher. Uh, he might want to get the catcher here, but he looks like he's debating between Ultra Ball and Dark Patch and catcher. Uh, he hasn't given the initiative yet. He's not finished with the search. Uh, and let's see what he kind of settles on. He settles on plus power and... Uh, I'm sorry, Dark Patch and Ultra Ball. And this is just signaling, hey... I am going for a uh, Mewtwo for your Mewtwo's, and I'll be okay. Now, does Ray have another Dark Energy in his discard? That's a big deal. Um, also, I would have liked to see him get a catcher. Uh, he does not have. I don't think he has a catcher in his hand either. So this could end up, you know, if if Henry pulls out a Blastoise this turn. Because Ray neglected to go for catcher, that's going to be a big, big deal. Um, I wasn't sure if he has a catcher. He does not. So this is coming down to this end here. He's going to... Does he have the energy in his discard? 
he does not have that either. So he just kind of went for the late game instead of going for the er- super early aggression. Uh, I don't really, um, I don't really like the ultra ball pick. I would have much preferred the catcher. Uh, but here we go. We're just gonna if Ray can, you know, draw his catcher and a dark energy. This game might be over. If he hits Dark Energy in general, the game might still be over. Because then, you know, you've shuffled away Henry's Rare Candy Blastoise. You've done 90 damage to Keldeo. You're in great shape. Uh, you know, a Catcher might not even be the best play here. Uh, now that I think about it, ooh, a Max Potion from Ray in his hand. That's cool. That's really cool. So, here we go. I think, he, yeah, he's, he's going them forward in the Night Spear. And... That's going to put a lot of pressure on Henry. He's going to be fa- staring down kind of like Doom. <laughs> uh, he's just going to be staring down Doom for a little bit. But uh, let's see how, how Ray responds or kind of follows up this Night Spear this turn. He goes for the Ultra Ball, gets rid of Eviolite and Max Potion for the Mewtwo. And he knows that at this point, Henry's only options are Mewtwo. Uh, so... He's just going to do 90-30, 30 to the Mewtwo, and just kind of lower the energy requirements for a X-Ball. Uh, you know, if you get two Night Spears on a singular Mewtwo, at that point you only need three energy instead of four. So, let's see how this works out. We do see a, a Rare Candy Blastoise computer search, maybe for a Juniper. Uh, interesting to see what he'll pull out with, but... You know, Henry's been kind of going, uh, he's been doing de- just as well in terms of setup. Uh, one th- cool thing I would have liked I- in this matchup, if this was like the Moss Rye version of Dark Rye, as that's the version I'm more familiar with, is, you know, you could have done like, if you had done, ni- uh, captured up the Squirtle, if you could have gotten it. And then 30 to the Keldeo. And then you at that point you could do 110 to the Keldeo and 30 somewhere else. And then... Or if another Squirtle came down, another Catcher. Another 30 to the Keldeo. And then 110 with the Dark Claw. But uh, that's... That's a little off topic. We'll just see a... Um, a Secret Sword coming in for 90 damage. And Ray's gotten rid of his Max Potion. But that's okay. He has a Night Spear ready to go. And... Now Ray's going to be in pretty good shape. He has a Boofle on it. He can drop that down. That's a nice card to play down. Uh, just kind of putting Boofle on DCE wouldn't be bad either. But he looks like he's just going to hold the DCE. The one extra card's not really that big of a deal. And he's just going to Bianca here. Get more cards. He has like energy in his hand. He might attach the basic Dark to the Boofle on and save the DCE for options. Uh, if you do 30 to the damaged Mewtwo, then you, that can be Bufalaunted. And the other Mewtwo with the DCE, if that comes in and attacks, you have your own Mewtwo for your counter knockout. Because you have a DCE in your hand. Um, at that point, all you need, and they are going to need to attach uh, energies to this Mewtwo to knock out your Darkrai. So your Mewtwo is pretty safe, uh, unless like catcher three energies on their Mewtwo happens, uh, in which case uh, that could be dangerous. But we'll see how this ends up playing out. Uh, I think Henry is just he's just going for the knockout on Darkrai. Uh, he actually I don't think he has enough to go for the knockout on Mewtwo. Uh, I don't think he has enough energy in his hand. And does he have a supporter in his hand for next turn? Uh, he might be banking off the prizes at this point. Kind of just hoping he gets something off the prizes. We see an energy retrieval out of the Skyla. And that's just going to be... Oh, he's going in for a secret sword. So, nice plays by Henry. Kind of avoiding the Mewtwo battle as much as he can. Uh, let's see if Ray will respond in kind. Um, does he send up the Bufalon or does he send up the Mewtwo? He goes for the Mewtwo. 
Now this is an interesting situation. Uh, if Ray can knock out the Mewtwo on the bench with the DCE, and then can Goldbreaker the other Mewtwo, Ray wins the game. So he's, I think that's what he's gunning for. I think he's actually just going to ignore this Keldeo. Uh, he has a DC in his hand. He has an energy switch. He has dark patch. So he, he's going to dark patch the Sableye and then energy switch it off the Sableye onto the Mewtwo, DCE, five, that's five energies, and then a knockout. So great plays by both players. Uh, they really see they're really uh, familiar with their decks, uh, and it really shows. So here we go. We're just gonna see an X ball here. Ray Mike is thinking about an ultra using Ultra Ball to thin out the deck. Uh, he has an energy search, uh, but we'll see if he actually does it. He can get rid of energy search and Juniper, but he opts not to. No, no, he does. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He goes for the energy search. And, you know, he knows basic darks, they're not that good right now. What are really good here are DCE. That's what I need. So he's just going to thin his deck out. He's even going to get a dark ride with this one, I, I think. And this is going to allow his guys to have free retreat. So that's pretty important. And now what Henry has to do. He has to knock out this Mewtwo with a Mewtwo that's not the current one in the active spot. And that's going to be tough. Uh, we do see an end down to two for Ray, four for Henry. And um, yeah, let, let's see what happens. Can If Ray hits catcher, then Ray wins. If Well, that's only assuming this Mewtwo lives. If this Mewtwo survives this turn, then... If Ray hits catcher, Ray wins. If that's really what it comes down to. Um, so Henry drawing four cards. Uh, he has a catcher in his hand, but that's not going to do too much. Uh, he can. He might just opt a secret sword, this Mewtwo for uh, one ten, and then just kind of hope for the best. Uh, he could go for the like catcher Sableye route. And then maybe if you get another energy catcher, the Buffalon, knock that out. And then fi finally go after the Mewtwo. Uh, that's another option. It would require two to three catchers, depending on the situation. But it's always there. And that's what he's going for. He's going to knock out the Sableye. Just kind of take one prize at a time. And does Ray have it? He has a catcher. There it is. Ray draws what he needs, and Ray Cipolletti moves on to the top four.